Okay, how the phrase is. I, I spend too much time looking at other people mm -hmm. and how they do things. Right. And it wasn't until I realized that I have to look onto myself and how I'm already doing things and how I need to kind of adapt that for other people. That Once I figured that out, that's when things really started going great for me. I had to kind of see, you know, when I'm happy, how do I express that? What do I look like? What do I sound like? Is that what most people do is that not what most people do and having that role playing kind of puts you in someone else's shoes so you can kind of almost stand outside yourself and see it from a different perspective see it from an outside perspective almost yeah that's certainly acting out issues to try and right. discern better ways to deal with them is probably a good idea for some people I think it is a great way, like like I said earlier with the psychology piece. Children like to wear masks when they're younger because of the feeling of safety that it provides because like they can't see their face and they f it's like a shield, they feel protected. Right. And I feel like that's a great approach with this. Like, And it looks like such fun. Like, Is there something unique about Felix from anything else that you've seen and that's why you're excited about the Pirate of the King? Mm. Huh. I, I have something. Just, yes. just, I'm sorry, just a little blip. Which is that just as a mom, watching her, the role play part is huge. That's huge because um, she is, she is, she's a little bit protected, but she can more freely speak about things that are really important. And she's, she blends in. She moves into a crowd easier. I've watched her go to the anime cons or even in the drama and the plays, she can immerse herself <laughs> in like, like almost like society. She can immerse herself in it. Wow. Instead of being back and always studying it and trying to learn it, she can be in it and move freely when she's role playing. And she can, and she can speak to what she's feeling more openly. Well, the advantage of any role playing when you were younger is it gives you a structured environment in which in which to operate. If you're playing a role, well, there are certain things you know are going to happen or not going to happen. For example, with the software, or, you know, if you're doing that uh, Colorado Colorado uh, mine, mining mining incident, well, if you pick one of those roles, you know what that character. Is, is or is not going to do. They're not going to do anything terribly unexpected. And with ASD people, no surprises is always good. And now, well, it'd be all, it's still useful for, once again, being in a structured environment. I mean, I still like going to the dog park because I know there all people are going to talk about is dogs. Uh, when I'm playing poker, well, all we're going to talk about is playing poker. Yeah, no surprises, you know, it's a reasonably structured environment.